am. Um, are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Alright, welcome to Freddy Fish 4. And there's pretty much nothing to do here, so... <laughs> Let's go! Nothing stands out. There's Cousin Calico's ranch! I'm raring to go! Nope, nothing here. You have got eight arms, which is strange to see. No, thank you. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town, and I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. So half of it, half of her just staying here is her being lazy. Not likely. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Did you see this picture? It's my son. Half Nelson, he was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. And when he grows up, he'll be a full Nelson. Ahem. <clears throat> Maybe this is a clue! 
Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Four, seven, three. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Okay. you about that note. Can I go down? No. Go up and right. Ew. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Why did... Go above it. Go over it. Uh, whatever. Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Uh, let's see. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, two, three, four, nine, eight. Seven. One. Two. Three. Ugh. We did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Uh. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Well, duh, it's paper. Harry. <laughs> Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers? Well, I'll be stuffed in a jar full of dirt and swung round and round.
Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Lube. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. What can I do for you kids? One pickle soda, please. Coming right up. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello. Eight Fingered Phil. Dr. Piano Ology. At your service. In Calico, we saw one of the rustlers. You did? They're at the old ship, the Rusty Rustler. That's good work, both of you. Any sign of the hogfish? They're probably in there too, but we'll have to get inside to find out. Looks like a barbell. Yes, well, it's just something I made. It's not for sale. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, i do the job for free if you brought me the materials. What kind of materials will we need to bring you for a belt buckle? Well, have a look at these blueprints. If you brought me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back, and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle-making equipment. That seems simple enough. Well, the part where I actually make the buckle requires years of training and lots of expensive tools. But you wouldn't have to worry about that. It's a nice kind of pale blue color. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oh, 
Whoops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. Hmm. A purple 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with a K on it. And a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be wrestlers. So you can't come in, because this hideout is for wrestlers only. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this is the wrestler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Whatever. <laughs> All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. <gasps> I guess. Uh, yeah, I can go kite. Now, I guess whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. Okay. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Okay. Seven by seven. Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! It says seven feet by seven feet. This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. How the hell did she put that in her? Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. All right, let's get this out of the way. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. No. 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 There we go! <laughs> Work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks.
let's keep going past this. Oh crap. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. It's nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Boy, Fluke, you must have a really big mouth. Uh, I, I mean, that didn't come out right. That's okay. I knew what you meant. And it is big. That's how come I get to be the town cabaret. Cabaret? What's that? Singer? We have plays and singing Ow. and different kinds of acts right inside my mouth. That's me. Can we see? Well, the cabaret's closed right now. But sure, take a look. <gasps> hey, this is me. Hey, look, it's a 10-gallon hat. Oh, boy. It's stuck in there pretty good. Yeah. I wouldn't want to hurt her. We need some dental floss or something like that. from coming down here. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. What? <laughs> uh, okay, so I need a handle. And... Some dental... Okay. I... Okay, so I need a handle first. I think the dental floss is gonna be the string or something like that. I don't know. Purple and pokey. Eek, is it on me? No, sir. <laughs> it's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! I think that did something. It's still going. Whoops. Whoa! Go, Sonic! Make up your mind! I think that did something. You should try it while it's still spinning. Really? You! I think that did something. It did it, finally. Watch this! 
Thanks, Freddy. I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. You also turned yourself into a mummy. Um. Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking a foot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh, I'm sorry, Luther. Wow, that's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this could come in handy. Now let's get that uh, ten gallon hat thing out of the way first. <gasps> Wait, I can use Hello? this. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Okay. So I saw the s snail mail. Yeah. Why don't we take another look at your tea? All right. Luther, let's try this. <laughs> How do people see out of these things? There's oh, a hole. Wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? Okay, that's it. For that. Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> we got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It's addressed to E. Tippet. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. Okay, so I need a trank. 
Are you ready to start? Uh, no thank you. I need a triangle... triangle nut. to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. I'm... Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Okay. Great, we'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh... That's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Uh, whatever. Here's another purple surgeon towards our wheel nut. Triangle. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple surgeon before... Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you like. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you! Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another <coughs> wheel nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> uh, this way, right? Yeah. There, don't ever mention G L U E around old Elmer. Swoops him something awful. What's he got against glue?
my package at last. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. <laughs> so that's piece number two. Thank you. Oh, right, yeah, that was... The screen after that was the... The game... Thing. I'm not gonna deal with that. Sheriff and the county for the discard. Wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. I don't think I need that right now. Make us a belt buckle out of this. <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Try singing this little piggy, like I said. Well, try it. Listen, I gotta go, customers. Mr. Fingers, could I learn to play the piano like that? Why, sure you could. You know, you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Really? What are their names? Four and 11. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. to look like wrestlers. We've got a hat just like that. 
Our hat is a different color, though. We still need the belt buckle and the bow tie. Get in there. The water level is too low. Part of my disguise. I need that right now. I don't think I need that. That's not gonna do me any good.
That's not gonna do me any good. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Lamb special super stew. My own recipe. Oh, not quite ready. What's in the stew? It's mostly kelp root and tumbleweed branches. Plus, a few secret ingredients. There's three cups of paprika. Isn't that kind of a lot? Not for super stew. What else is in the stew? Secret ingredients. Like what? If I told you they wouldn't be very secret now, would they? Harmonica, harmonica, to play you was to kiss you, but now all I have is this old bow tie. Harmonica, how I miss you. Why did you trade away your harmonica if you liked it so much? Well, I really wanted a bow tie back then. Now I trade back in a second. Are you sure you won't tell me what else is in the stew? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Me too. Please tell us what's in the super stew. I'm afraid I can't do that. Because it's a secret? Because I don't know. I bought the stew from a fellow in Monterey last spring, and he said the ingredients were sacred. You've been cooking the stew since last spring? Well, it has to simmer a while to mellow the flavors. Is the stew ready yet? <sighs> oh. Almost. Is the stew ready yet? <sighs> oh. Almost. That's not going to do me any good.
Would you tell us some more about the cabaret? There are a couple of really good stand-up comedians who play here regularly. You might have heard of Catfish Goldfish. He's the one who does that joke about the flounder and the... I think I need that right now. <laughs> Do you think you could let us buy? Sorry, can't! Why is that? I think I'm stuck! Not gonna do. Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it. Reflex. Reflex? Happens whenever anybody gets near me. Do you think you could move out of the hole while you're still small? Move? No way. You say you can't help holding your breath whenever anyone comes near? That's right! That's part of my disguise. I don't need to wear it until I try to get into the- That's part of my- I wish there was some way we could stop you from holding your breath. You and me both? This isn't comfortable. Do you think you could move out of the hole while you're still small? Move? No way! Too scared!
we could do it. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're wet! It's a great candle. Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us. Holy shit, actual progress. Yeah. Okay, go back, plug this thing in. No, it wasn't there, it was uh, over this way. Oh yeah, wrong way. Whoops. a handle on the situation. is. Oh. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! How? Whatever. Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! It's screwed on there pretty tight. I really like those hats! We've got a hat just like that. We still need the belt buckle and the bow tie. 